Today we are going to talk about jujitsu injuries and how to avoid them. Point number three is to make sure that you're cross-training for strength and mobility. It's important to note that this study did ask its respondents what they were using for preventative measures, which included things like mobility training, strength training, taking naps, having a vegan diet, and it actually didn't find any correlation between number of injuries and injury prevention strategies. So according to the data gathered by this study, there's no effective means for preventing injuries in jiu-jitsu. It's also worth noting, however, that this study wasn't about prevention. Another thing to consider though is this. If two athletes are equally matched for skill, then it's gonna be the stronger, more mobile, more athletic of the two that's gonna prevail and is going to submit the other. So avoiding injury with jujitsu might look like avoiding submissions and being successful with your own submissions. And again, matched for skill, this is gonna come down to strength and conditioning and mobility. 